Bye. This is the Truth Seeker. I hope you're all doing well. I, uh, I finished reading a three-part series on Zoroastrianism uh, on my Kindle. A uh, handy little thing. Uh, but uh, I highly recommend uh, anyone interested in uh, the texts of the Avesta uh, to read to read those that are available uh, for Kindle download, uh, especially the translations and um, the first one of the volume being by James Darmstetter and. Um, uh, so it's very interesting when you go through the uh, the different texts. Uh, for instance, there's the Vin Vindidad, or uh, depending on how you pronounce it, the we could say Vividad. Uh, don't ask me; I'm not fluent in the in in the uh, Persian languages or the variants of of the Persian language. But uh, uh, what is uh, completely striking to me, because as I begin to read through them and try to find the, uh, the similarities between, let's say, Judaism or let's say Christianity uh, or uh, any other religions for that matter, um, what I am struck by the most as I read through the texts is the characteristic uh, Persian flavor uh, because uh, there are many uh, rituals that are described there are many uh, prayers that are, that, uh, that that are distinctly uh, Persian slash uh, uh, I don't know how you would describe this but uh, you you can get that Iranian kind of a flavor, basically is what what I'm what I'm getting at, and uh, and so uh, when you look at that, you begin to think to yourself, now how is this the same as Judaism, or how how is this the same as Christianity? <laughs> um, of course, there's there's always universal truths, which which I've talked about a lot in my other videos on, on, on uh, why I believe Judaism was more of an influence. Um, now, of course, let me just say this. The whole, the whole uh, argument regarding uh, uh, Zoroastrianism influencing uh, Christianity, influencing Judaism, is a little bit about semantics because what do we mean when we say influenced because obviously everything influences everything else right i think what we're what what i am getting at and what i am what i have been talking about for you know the last several years is that it's one thing to uh for, for a religion to influence another religion and then it is quite another for that to mean that uh, it would that that religion would not be what it was today without uh, borrowing or copying uh, some of its main doctrinal ideas from the previous. And so, uh, I think that this is this is the, what I'm trying to say here is that uh, I I have read these texts and I do not see uh, the the handprint of of of, uh, of this so-called uh, copying or so-called borrowing occurring. For instance, let's take for uh, example the uh, there there are many doctrines that we could do that we could just start off with, but 
some of the main ones that are thrown out there in the in the the whole Zoroastrianism slash Christianity Judaism debate uh, is uh, the idea of angels, the idea of hell, the idea of heaven, the idea of monotheism, the idea of a Messiah. Okay, so so when somebody says and they claim they say. Zoroastrianism uh, had all these ideas first, okay? Number one, show me where they had the ideas in the text, in the Avesta text themselves. And don't just, uh, don't just quote me some, uh, some other scholar, okay? Because... I've read all of what the other scholars have to say about it. Okay, not all of it, okay. But I'm just saying, I've read quite a bit of what all of the other scholars have to say about it. I'm interested in where, in the Avestan texts, um, and then we discuss it point by point, line by line, word by word, and all the, all the variant meanings or possible meanings. Um, but most individuals tend to just want to, you know, rest their laurels on the generic arguments for uh, Christianity borrowing ideas from Zoroastrianism. And therein lies the problem. You know, and I think that it's a uh, dilemma of education, um, but that's another, that's a whole other topic. But um, show me, show me the text, you know, tell me where I can find uh, exactly why uh, Zoroastrianism, let's say, for instance, let's just take a topic, angels, okay? Show me the reasons why Zoroastrianism was supposedly the first religion to have the idea of angels, okay? Now, just the aspect of that. What I mean to say is, what's the word they use for angels? Because I can tell you right now, I've read those, I've read the Avesta. You're not going to find that word in there, unless somebody translated it as such. But you're not going to find the word angel in the Avestan text. So, basically what they're calling uh, lesser gods or depending on the meaning aspects of God so is that the same idea as uh, an angel in Judaism because then we're getting into another a whole another whole another argument okay because what if, what if somebody says, well, no, Judaism took that idea and then they evolved it. Now, wait a second. Now, wait a second. That's a different, that's a whole different, different subject. You know, first somebody come along and they say, oh, oh, Zoroastrianism, they're the first ones that came up with the idea of angels. Oh, really? They, they did, huh? Well... And how is that? And and, and uh, show me the texts in the Avesta. And look, I'm not trying to be offensive or anything. If I come off that way, then so be it. But I really do wish all all uh, uh, Persia well, okay. And I do uh, believe that Iran would be much better off if they were to support 
their Zoroastrian and their Zoroastrian community more so, you know, elevate them and uh, promote religious freedom. Because I, I personally, my feeling is that Iran would be a better place if Zoroastrianism flourished. Okay. And and so most of the comments I get on my channel, they're not from Zoroastrians. Because, you know, a Zoroastrian, they're all about good thoughts, good words, good deeds. Okay. So, first of all, if you're going to come on here and defend the idea that that uh, Judaism was influenced by by uh, Zoroastrianism, well, why would you even care? Anyway, except for your own ideas about evolution of religion and and uh, just believing what what all the scholars tell you to believe. But, you know, sit down and read the text yourself. You know, download them into your Kindle and just read them. Just read them. You know? And you tell me if they even approach uh, the idea of Juda Judaism's idea of monotheism. Okay? Because despite what that scholars say regarding Zoroastrianism. Just from my reading, my cursory reading, it, it to me sounds more a lot like more pantheism. But now don't get me wrong because the conservative Zoroastrians or the reformed Zoroastrians, you know, you know, they're gonna have their own ideas about what those texts mean. And, and that's their right. You know, God bless them. And I, I, I wish them well. Um, but you, you who have no knowledge of the Avesta, you who have not even read it, what, what, who do you think you are defending uh, the text of the Avesta? And when I say you, I'm talking in a general sense. I'm just saying, if you're going to talk about things, you better, you better read those texts. You better understand just what's in them to begin with. Because that's just the start of understanding a religion. You, there's no way that you could possibly understand a religion unless you begin to, you know, learn about the community, learn about what those people who actually practice the religion believe and and actually live it day to day you know it's a lot like a, a lot of the other individuals out here on YouTube who are saying things about Christianity or Judaism or Islam or whatever okay they're out there saying that they know what they're talking about but uh, they haven't taken the time. See, and that, that's what it's all about, is time. You know, you want to take time. You want to sacrifice your time. Because if you're not willing to sacrifice your time in the pursuit of truth, or in the pursuit of the hearts or minds of men, then then your words carry no weight. There's no depth to them. But God bless you. Peace be with you. I wish you all well. And uh, I, I certainly hope to uh, do some more videos upcoming. So busy, so busy. I'm so busy. God bless you all. I wish you all well. I wish the most healing in all of your lives. The Lord's hand, his love, his peace, and uh, his, you know, his burden because his burden is light. His burden is light. So let go of your own burdens. 
I wish you well. I look forward to my next video. God bless you all. Keep seeking truth.